Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 review and today we're doing another episode of Object Texture Review. So if you missed out last episode we did Saturn and um, it seemed a lot of you guys actually had similar thoughts about the green on some of the moons there as well. So it's pretty good to hear uh, most of us can agree on that. But yeah, really, really cool um, stuff there. But yeah, today we're doing the um, remaining objects in the solar system. So it's all of the outer solar system, like the far outer solar system stuff. So we've got Uranus, Neptune and we've got Pluto and Charon down there as well. So yeah, without further ado, I'll just get straight into it. Massive thank you as always as well guys for continuing coming back to the videos every day but yeah first up we have the regular uranus so if you remember this was actually uh the very first episode we sort of did of this with that april fools uh thing where i showed off um the uranus and how great it was but um yeah it's quite the opposite um as i've um expressed in videos way before as this image or this uranus here yeah it's not entirely correct and i'm pretty sure a lot of us have um a lot of us have noticed this. I mean, ever since I've started the game, this has always been my least favourite solar system object, just because of that, especially that, like, white, bluish coloured band going around the pole area there. That just doesn't look right, because I believe that this um, Uranus is actually based off the Hubble Space Telescope pictures of Uranus, um, where it's got this extra big band on it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I believe it's based off the Hubble... Yeah, I'm just looking at one right now. The Hubble Space Telescope. It has, yeah, the massive, massive light blue band on it right here so this area here this really really light blue area but compared to the real images the color of uranus isn't uh, entirely right i know some people have said as well that the colors are amplified on the images but still to me this isn't the way i'd see uranus it looks way 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 too blue the blue i don't think is definitely or i definitely don't think it should be that um colorful it should definitely be a lot more pale which is obviously why people have made the custom uranuses um, over time but yeah I, I, to me this blue is way 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 too vibrant in color i definitely think it should be a more pale color overall i mean if the whole object was the same color as that band i think that would look quite good but having the, the mixes of blue like all this blue here to me that isn't right so uranus i'll definitely have to give a very low score two out of ten probably a, a one or two i mean this probably is the worst solar system textured object out of all of the planets if you ask me but yeah, that's just my opinion. If you guys think different, let me know and yeah, rank what um, what order you put the planets in. Because um, Uranus is definitely my weakest link for the way it looks in this game. But now moving on to Neptune here. Here's um, a really nice one actually. Because um, Neptune has always been um, one I've always liked, obviously, obviously because of my name. But um, yeah, Neptune's texture, I've never really been too fussed with it, honestly. I mean, people did make the custom Neptunes on their own accord, which I um, like those as well. But yeah, the original... Um, Neptune from since I started the game. I've always liked it. I have to say I've never really had too much problem with it I think it looks really good with the blue the whiter clouds I mean, it may be a little too much in there But one thing that really does suck is there's no dark spot because if anyone ever saw the original universe sandbox um, I've never shown it off in a video because I can't get it you can't buy it anymore um, But yeah, it used to have a dark spot on it in universe sandbox one and what's annoying as well is you can't transfer the textures over from one to two the textures using different file types um, I believe so you can't transfer old textures over, which is really, it's a real shame, honestly, because it would have been cool if you could do that. But yeah, dark spot you can't get in this game. You know I mean, the only way you can do it is tint it blue and name it Jupiter to get the red spots to appear, but tinted blue. But it still doesn't look right at all. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a real shame that you can't get the dark spot. Now, I know the dark spot does come and go, but it'd be nice to have it as an addition that you could switch on and off in the game as well. So, yeah, for me, though, Neptune, I'd definitely give it a 7 or 8 out of 10 overall because it has always been one of the best-looking ones out of the solar system gas giants, if you ask me. Saturn and Neptune, I'd say, are my top two um, out of those guys. But now, moving on to the Pluto, the only textured dwarf planet um, in here as well. And, oh, Pluto, ever since New Horizons went to Pluto and they added this in the game, Pluto's texture, to me, I think is probably one of the best in the game i mean look at the detail they have put into this i mean it just looks great obviously this is the uh, mo area that most people would know it for so if we just uh, pause it when you look at images of pluto you usually see it from this sort of view you'd have the massive white um area here i'm not exactly sure what that's called so i don't know much about pluto um but yeah this white area here that's probably the most notable part of it but yeah, i remember when i was on holiday and i saw the first pictures of this how amazing it looked and i think they have done an absolutely amazing job of adding it into the game i think this is probably in i'd say overall out of 10 this is probably a 9 or even a 10 i think this is one of the best textured objects in the entire game i mean the detail that has been put into like all of this area here i think it looks great compared to the images of pluto as well at new horizons got definitely one of the top if not the top objects in the game now yeah that's exactly that's what i think but if you guys think differently let me know as well but i i really think pluto looks good 
um, in here and I definitely think it's been based well off of the images that have um, been sent back to us from the probe I mean it just looks great I mean look how look I love this area here has got the best detail I think this this sort of area here I mean look how cool it looks also if you zoom in too much it does go all funny but if you look at it at a decent sort of distance like I am now look how detailed it looks I think it looks great the colors are all on point as well if you ask me as well I think they look really, really cool. So, yeah, that's Pluto. And now moving on to Charon. So here, or Charon, have you want to say it? Pluto's the largest moon. Also a pretty um, cool-looking texture, honestly. Um, I think the colours are pretty um, on point as well with it. Some of it is a lot more blurry, though, so that would obviously deduct points from it. But I'd still give this probably a good 7 out of 10 overall. I mean, they've got the whole thing. Um, they've got a texture for the entire object. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of... Um, detail has gone into that as well but some of the areas are still more blurry because obviously the pluto was the main focus not its moon um on that mission but um yeah overall i'd still give it a very very um very nice um number for it um overall out of 10 because i still think we have obviously got a real image of um pluto's moon as well and obviously if you want to compare that to the image go ahead but i think um compared to the images i've seen of charon as well i think they look um really really good um so yeah i'm just gonna check one out now as well just to compare and yeah charon is pretty um good looking um in this compared to the the real deal but the real deal actually does have a dark patch in the north pole um yeah that's right looking at it right now yeah the north pole does ha it should have a darker patch but in the game it's not there so that would be the only thing i could really um give it a loss for or deduct points for is some of the craters and stuff i definitely think there should be more craters on the moon my, uh, myself and more crevices because i mean a lot of it's got these really weird lines and that does make it look a little funny so that's why i wouldn't give it much higher than a 7 out of 10 because obviously the color and it does look good from a distance but when you zoom in you see these weird lines here i mean this area here i mean those weird lines that does sort of make it look a little funny compared to the room image but from a distance it looks good but when you zoom in it definitely is missing a darker spot in the north the north area as well from the image i'm looking at um yeah which i forgot about actually because i don't really look at um care on very often but yeah that it should have a dark spot on the north pole which isn't there so yeah, there's a few features missing but overall still a pretty good texture and it definitely beats what uranus has to offer anyway so yeah definitely um um definitely beats that but yeah overall still a really really nice um feature they actually added a texture for Charon as well because i'm still waiting on a texture for triton that's the one texture i want is neptune's moon triton to get its texture i mean the whole object isn't mapped out but we got a pretty good amount of it mapped out and they could probably make something up or just make it a little blurry if they added it into the game anyway so come on give us a triton that is that is the one texture I want. And Miranda around Uranus as well. They're the top two um, moon textures that I'd like to see added to the game. But yeah, overall, Pluto, probably one of the best of the best texture in the entire game, if you ask me. And obviously, I can have a different opinion to you guys. But if you disagree or um, have your own thoughts, let me know down below in the comments as well. Because I've seen a lot of you have been really been commenting on these videos. So it's nice to see what everyone has to say on all of this as well and have a bit of a discussion going on. But yeah, for me, Pluto is definitely one of the top ones up there. So yeah, there we go guys, that is it for this series I guess, I mean there's no more objects to do, we've done all of the planets, we've done all of the moons I believe, so yeah we haven't got anything else to do, so obviously we can't do other stars, because obviously all stars have the same texture, and it's just a glowing object, not really much to say about them, and obviously any of the exoplanets they don't have custom textures, it's only the solar system objects that you can get custom textures on, or only have stock textures in the game, everything else has random stuff. So, yeah, there is that, guys. But, yeah, overall, um, I hope you enjoyed this series because, this, yeah, this is probably or the last episode, actually. I don't think oh, I'll be needing to do any more on this unless they add more in. But, yeah, overall, really, really cool stuff. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, let me know which one you think is the best out of all these. Nothing. Overall, if I was to rank all these, I'll probably go Pluto, Neptune, Charon, and then Uranus. So, yeah, one to four. Pluto and Neptune are the top two. And then Charon is definitely third. Because it is missing some features. And then Uranus is a very, very poor last. Because it, yeah, to me, I've always uh, had something against it. I mean, I could be biased there, but it is my opinion after all. And also, if you guys think different, go ahead. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, But yeah, that is everything. So like I said, let's even go for um 40 likes on this video, guys. And yeah, also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers. As we're already passing 7,600. So massive, massive thank you for that as well. And yeah, that's everything, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.